So another question, what is good for respiratory mucus, whether it's in the lung, uh, whether it's a chronic bron bronchitis or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, lung conditions, um, asthma, sinus infections, sleep apnea, uh, mucus deep into the sinus cavities. It's right here using salt. Not necessarily taking salt, but breathing in salt. There's a, a machine called a halo generator, which basically gives you something called halotherapy, which is uh, breathing in salt air. So this machines basically take the salt and ionize it and put it into the air. So you'd have it running when you're sleeping at night. It can actually loosen up the mucus uh, in your lungs, in your sinuses, in your throat. Salt has the capacity to make mucus thinner. It's antifungal, it's antibacterial, it's anti-mold. So it's really good. So I'm gonna put a link down below of a couple different options. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies, but I saw some really good ones that you can either do a neti pot or you can get a device uh, that generates salt air right in your room while you're sleeping. Oh, one more thing. You really wanna check for any mold in the house because if there is mold or mildew, that could be enough to keep your uh, lungs constantly filled up with mucus and you'd be surprised. You change your environment and go into a different location. All of a sudden this, this sinus mucus completely goes away. So it could be, a source of the actual cause of your mucus. From a nutritional standpoint, oregano oil is really good for mucus and garlic and fasting. But if you can actually do a longer fast, let's say every month for 48 or 72 hours, you can put your body in some serious, um, it's called autophagy, which will help clean up the deep old damaged proteins and improve your immune system and also deactivate viruses in the body, clean up microbes. It's a really good thing for your immune system. But oregano oil is also good for that as well. If you have a virus, and sometimes it's a combination of fungal, bacteria, and even viral, then olive leaf extract is what you need to try. All right, so those are my recommendations for getting rid of this thing right here. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.